The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells and today we are on chapter number 18. The Invisible Man Sleeps. If you remember in the previous chapter we had done in two parts how the invisible man has landed in the house of Dr. Kemp and he has demanded to sleep a very nice sleep because he has not been able to take rest for three days. And in this chapter, as the invisible man sleeps, we find only one character that is the character of Dr. Kim, who is, who has had a bad shock, you know, uh, to be confronted with something that he had thought to be impossible, but that impossibility has turned out to be quite a possibility and appeared in his house in the form of the invisible man. So chapter number 18 we find that uh, the invisible man finally trusts Kem and decides to sleep in his room. But before that he checks all the doors, all the doors windows and all the fastenings all the locks just to make sure that nobody would make an attempt to come and arrest him uh, he has found Kemp to be a very nice man but of course the invisible man's instincts don't allow him to rest without any uh, speculation he has this doubt in his mind that somehow he might be captured and arrested so he checks everything and then he goes to sleep and Kemp cannot sleep because he has so much to think about so he goes into a room to think about the happenings of that day and he starts reading all the newspaper reports that he can find about the invisible man so those very newspaper reports which seem to be all foolishness and lies to him uh, he is actually looking for all those reports just in order to gather information about what this man has already done so he reads and reads and then his mind is filled up with the realization that Griffin is not only abnormal of course he is abnormal because he is invisible but he is not only abnormal but at the same time he could be a very dangerous man he is actually a criminal and he could prove to be a danger not only to him, not only to Kemp because a criminal is staying in his house but also to the society in general. So Kemp realizes that this man could be murderous. He realizes that this man could be homicidal because he is capable. of a uh, killing why do you think this realization happens to him first of all uh, please uh, just note you know Kemp has read all the newspaper reports secondly Kemp has recalled the face of the man 
who was running because now kemp realizes that the man who was running yesterday was actually marvel the same person that the invisible man keeps talking about the same person who was an accomplice to the invisible man and he uh, you know now now he realizes that at that time the invisible man could have killed him if he had found him he could could have actually killed him that fear on his face the fear on the face of the running man was now perceivable by dr kem now dr kem realizes that poor man was really running for his life and the third thing Do you remember how the invisible man reacts he pushes kemp onto the bed he almost threatens to kill him so kemp has faced that violence kemp has faced the violence at the hand of the invisible man and so he knows how dangerous this man could be now it is for kemp to take a decision kemp has to take a difficult decision and what is this decision that uh, first of all should he not break the trust of the man who has found shelter in his house and secondly should he not fulfill his social responsibility by giving over a criminal to the police so these are the two options that camp has right now and he is thinking what should be right should he you know uh, keep the trust of this man who is here in his house who is wounded and who is so tired and who has trusted him should he do that or secondly should he fulfill his social responsibility because as a man of society as a social human being he knows that this person could be